When a large sanctuary closes suddenly, where do the animals go? And with animals like these, where can they go? Wildlife Way Station, a sanctuary located in Southern California, caring for thousands of animals for more than 40 years, unexpectedly closed its doors in 2019. This closure left hundreds of exotic and domestic animals in sudden need of new homes. The California Department of Fish and Wildlife immediately stepped in to provide much needed supplies and security and helped to rehome almost all of the 480 animals there. However, 42 chimpanzees remained. They had been sent to the weigh station after being used in a variety of industries, including biomedical research, film, and television, and living in human homes as privately owned pets. This adorable baby chimpanzee was rescued from biomedical research. The wildlife weigh station took in 56 chimpanzees. As adorable as she is, She's going to grow up to be a very large chip. Males can be up to 200 pounds. They have the strength of five or six times a human man. For decades, these chimpanzees spent their lives meeting the needs of humans until they grew too old or troublesome to be used in entertainment, too big or strong to manage in a human home, or were no longer needed in a lab. I believe that they have sacrificed a lot in order to help us advance in the medical research and uh, the best thing that we can do for them is care for them and provide for them you know, the best that we can. Therefore, the goal is to ensure that all the wildlife way station chimpanzees are rehomed at trusted, experienced sanctuaries that keep the interests of the animals as their top priority with minimal to no disruption of their social groups. The sanctuaries participating in this rehoming effort are nonprofit organizations that are not normally open to the public and do not permit public contact with the animals. They do not remove the animals or exhibit them in any way, and do not breed or sell animals or engage in commercial trade of primates. That's it. That's it, baby. Anybody got one? Oh my god. I think so. Oh my god. <laughs> We've identified four sanctuaries that are willing to help the wildlife waste station chimpanzees, but they need funding in order to expand, and they need time in order to do so. I wish that we could have been that place, and unfortunately, we've had to close our doors, but our job here isn't done, and we need help. Most of them came from a laboratory in New York. They came here in 95, some came in 95, some came in 96. So they've been here for a very long time. So, I mean, this is their home. This is pretty much all they've known for their adult life. Nine of the 42 chimpanzees have already been rehomed to sanctuaries where they are thriving, and one elderly chimpanzee passed away at the way station of natural causes. The remaining 32 chimps can be rehomed soon if enough funds are raised. They were born at the lab, uh -huh. uh, but they came here when they were 
I was probably like four or five years old. Mm -hmm. So I've been here with them pretty much their whole life. Moka. The chimpanzees at Wildlife Way Station were born into captivity and forced to give up their freedoms for the vast majority of their lives, and all for human benefit. It's super difficult, but we're gonna hang in there and do what we have to to get these chimps to a better place. So now it is up to us to save them. It is up to us to give something back. And we can do it too. Are you going to be sad when they leave? Well, it's, they're be like... happy for them, obviously. We have, but yeah. It's, it'll probably be hard. They're like your kids, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Learn more by visiting chimpsinneed.org and please donate today. Thank you for considering and for your generous support. <laughs>